What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys my showcase of Eula with five different weapons. Uh, the first weapon I will be showcasing first will be the prototype. And then the snow tomb. And then Skyward Pride, Wolf's Gravestone, and the Unforged. For the five star weapons, they are all refinement one. Except for my Skyward Pride, it is Refinement 2. For the 4 star, my prototype is R5 and then Snow Tomb is R3. For my overall stats, crit rate is 47.4%, crit damage 192.3, physical damage is 83.3%. And then for my artifacts I'm using, I am using the 4P set. Pale Flame. Here's my flower. My feather. My sands. My goblet. And my circlet. Constellation. I have none. So it's C0. Talents. 788. Eight. The prototype, the attack is going to be 1958. With the snow tomb, my attack will be 1754. But my physical damage bonus will be now 114.8%. Skyward Pride, 1923%. With the Wolf's Gravestone, it would be 23.65. And then with the Unforged, with no stacks and no shield, it would be 21.98. If it had full stacks without uh, the additional shield applied to it, the... Unforged will have the same attack as the uh, Wolf's Gravestone. But with the shield, it should be ranging about 25 to 2600 attack with the applied shield and the full stacks from the Unforged. So how I'm going to showcase Eula's damage output with the five weapons I'm going to show you, going to be showing. I'm going to be using uh, her E first and then her burst. And then hold E right after to get some stacks for her burst to deal damage. And then after that, I'll be switching off characters so that her burst will just automatically burst and do damage to the enemy. I'm also going to be using the Rain of Shogun to use Super Conduct. And also her E gives extra burst damage to Eula. And then also Zhongli Shield is going to give me a buff debuffs the enemy to give me a buff for your eula to do more damage i'll also be using bennett's ult for a buff for my eula to show more damage to see how it looks so the first showcase is going to be with the prototype archaic and this is with no buffs at all As you can see, I did about 65k, and on this, I'm going to be doing the damage output with Zhongli Shield. Did about 75k damage. Now I'm going to be doing it with Super Conduct with Zhongli Shield. Did about 98k. Now I'm gonna do it with all the buffs with better. Did 
did about 130k. Next up is the Snow Tomb. Gonna do the exact same order to show the damage. So no buffs on this one. 68k. Now with the zombie shield. Did about 78k. Now with super conduct with the shield. I did 101k. Now with all the buffs and Bennett. And I did about 137k. Next up up is a sky wood pride with no buffs. Sixty-eight K on that one. Next up is with the shield. I did about seventy-seven K. Now I'm gonna use Super Conduct with the shield. And 113k. Now with all the buffs with Bennett. Hundred thirty six K. Next is the Wolf's Gravestone with no buffs. Seventy eight K. Now with this shield. Next up is with the Super Conduct and Shield. One seventeen. Okay. Next up is all the buffs plus Bennett's. Now I'm gonna show the unforged with no shield, no buffs, just the five sacks. Next up is with the shield and the full five stacks. Ninety-five K. Next up is with super conduct, with the shield and the five stacks. Nanko 
125k. Next, I'm gonna use all the buffs plus Venus. Oh. One hundred and fifty seven K. So in conclusion, the Unforged dishes out more damage only if you can sustain a shield majority of the time for your active character. But without the shield, you do as much damage as the Wolf's Gravestone. And the Wolf's Gravestone has a great passive, which gives your team a huge attack buff, but only if you hit an enemy with 30% HP or lower. And if you have any of these two weapons, either one would be good for your character. And then for the Skyward Pride, it has the highest base attack, but it does not do as much damage as the other 5 star weapons that I have. But the Skyward Pride does give you Vacuum Blades that deal damage alongside your normal attacks after each burst you use on your character. And you also get more energy recharge allowing you to use your burst more. And for the four star weapons, using the prototype archaic or the snow tomb would do nicely with your Eula for damage output as well if you don't have any of the uh, five star weapons. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a like if you would like to see more. Please comment and subscribe if you enjoy and want to see more of my videos.